for them to be able to make that trip. So if you could please give generously as much as you can to help them do that. That would be wonderful. There are various jars and beautiful vases and other things, and I'm sure body tipping will be available later if you prefer that. So, excellent. So again, that was Portico, and next up we have beautiful Anya. Anya is a fan and follower of Turkish belly dance. She thinks that Turkish style is very wild, has a lot of freedom, very vibrant and joyful. Her teacher, Ruby, inspires her with her experience, dance knowledge, and creativity. So, without further ado, here's beautiful Anya.
to mention who I am, because I'm humble like that. <laughs> my name is Gail, and I am involved in multiple dance forms, but one of my very favorites is belly dancing, so I'm very honored. I have multiple teachers in the house, and I have studied with Katie, and I have studied with Sam, and I have studied with Maggie, and I guess I'm a, just a belly dance slide. <laughs> That's what happens. There's so many teachers around the world. And there'll be more. There will be more. Um, so next up we have Amanda. Amanda is from a far away place, a mystical land called Vancouver, BC. <laughs> she travels to the far reaches of the universe to train with the leaders of the tribal belly dance world. Currently, she's in a theatrical belly dance troupe, Iron Pixie. Yeah. Sounds like I have to say it like that. Iron Pixie! <laughs> as well as a collaborator with Portico Dance. She also trains improv with Unmata out of California. Her favorite color is green. She spells color with a U, C-O-L-O-U-R. If I'm talking to a Canadian online, I do that too. I think it's respectful. <laughs> Other than that, they don't know the what A. They don't know what I'm saying. Um, her favorite cartoons are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Archer, and she's a devout Trekkie. Yeah. <laughs> Turn over card. Her performance tonight is entirely improvised. You don't know how tough that is till you try it. So be amazed with Miss Amanda.
this was very requested. <laughs> so, um, one of my shticks at the Bellingham Circus Guild is that I um, I interpret popular songs, current songs, modern songs, and it's a hoot. And so I'm going to teach you a couple signs before we move on to our next act, and it also correlates with what this evening is for, and that's to raise money to get portico dancers to Tribal Fest in California. So I don't know where to put the mic. That's probably been there a lot. So, Okay, this is the sign for money. Money. Corey, I'm waiting for you. Nice. Excellent. All right. So, this is now jar. As in tip jar. This one's pretty, so we would go make the shape of the jar. Yes, this guy back here. You get a tip for that good sign. <laughs> nice. All right. So, Maybe the lovely Amanda, I don't know, she's busy, busy videotaping, can take a quick lap, or Sam can take a quick lap. All right. I wish I, yeah, you're dancing next, so. But you are multi-talented like that. Well, this will give us a moment for you to fix your wardrobe malfunctions. Maybe we'll get more tips for it, Sam. Did everybody see Sam drop her belt? Whoa! Excellent. Not to make it awkward or anything. Does anybody have another sign they want to learn? I'll do my best. Does anybody like, I always wanted to know the sign for fill in the blank. Anybody? Anyone? Do, is there a sign that you always wanted to know? Like what's the sign for cauliflower? I don't know, like, what's the sign for? The, oh, of course, of course. Silly me, sorry. The sign for belly dance is... Thank you very much. <laughs> it really is! Awesome. The little, the little, the body, the upper half, you know, because it's, and then you show the hips going. <laughs> Alright, I would just like to say that I belly danced my belt in half for you, okay? I love this belt, but no, that's okay, I can safety pin it. However, um, just to demonstrate how hard we're working up here, so I improvised a little sash. Do you like it? <laughs> that's tragic, and that it happened here tonight. I think we need to raise even more money to buy that poor lady another belt. They should pin this shit on the wall. That's history. Wow. So, now that you know two signs. Samantha Riggs is next. Samantha moved to Bellingham four years ago from Phoenix. She likes it much better here. She has been performing, teaching, and choreographing for over 20 years. So be kind if she sometimes limps. Aww. All right, here's Sam to break another bell.
traditional drum solo.
biographies are by Katie. They're a little slow and silly. That's so sweet. Second one's silly. This one's just slow. A little slow. We'll find out. I'm sure we'll be entertained. Katie and Nancy.
wine, do more deals. How about the sign for alcohol? Yeah. Yes? Okay, just a moment.
Next we have Kindle. Kindle is a multidiscipline artist who focuses on both the sensual and spiritual aspects of her art. Her formal dance instruction began at age three, and she continues to grow up and learn as a performer, training with world-class instructors such as RB. Right now she's probably horrified because she's like, oh my god, the MC doesn't know what RB means. Silly me, I know, it's Rachel Price. She inspires many of us. There's people with like tattoos devoted to Rachel Rice. Like, can you imagine somebody loving you so much that they get a tattoo of you? <laughs> Happens all, oh, Sam. Sam, I didn't show you my ass yet. How did you know? <laughs> hmm. All right, Kindle someday. There will be tattoos of you. All right, she's also inspired by Zoe and many Seattle-based influences. This is her first time to Bellingham and is excited. Steve Bellingham welcomes you. And is excited to help Portigo get to Tribal Fest. Kindle.
host Warren from watching Kindle, we're going to take a 10 minute break. All right? So, you know what that means. Get out your. and do two.